Now, an optically denser medium has a greater refraction effect on light than a less dense or rarer uh, medium. So, for example, as we shall be able to see later on, uh, glass has a slightly higher refractive index as compared to uh, uh, water. That tells you that uh, when light is passing through uh, an air uh, glass interface, it deviates, it suffers greater refraction as compared to the same ray passing at uh, the air or water interface at the same angle of incidence. So glass will cause a greater refractive effect uh, than uh, uh, water uh, will do. As you can be able to see from this uh, uh, diagram here, we have uh, a parallel sided uh, glass block. Uh, and of course, we have a ray of light that is uh, incident at an angle I. And you can be able to see from the diagram that we have shown uh, the corresponding angle of uh, uh, refraction. We have also tried to extrapolate the initial direction of uh, the angle of incidence. And uh, from this, you can be able to see that the ray of light is passing uh, through the glass. And then when it gets to the glass air interface, because it's coming from an optically denser uh, medium to an optically less dense medium, it deviates away uh, from uh, 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 from the normal. And that's why we're getting that angle of emergence that is uh, E as you can be able to see in that particular uh, diagram. So having ex extrapolated that uh, uh, incident ray, you can be able to see that uh, the two rays, the emergent ray and the original path of the, uh, the incident ray, they are parallel to each other. Now, uh, YZ on that diagram is representing the lateral uh, displacement, that this uh, ray suffered some lateral displacement from the original direction uh, to uh, the original uh, path to a path that is highlighted as uh, as uh, uh, y and then d so that is that is uh, how lateral inversion uh, uh, displacement is coming about